we are at Baradi doing the last lots of fittings and cards and organising. Look, we're so organised. Team 10 is in the house. <laughs> Team 10, they're not interested, I am. All the clothes, all the things. <laughs> Don't try and hide from me, Abby. It's not gonna work. Look at all this beautiful team. This the communications. <laughs> These are all very good people. Anyone who wants to give them a job. <laughs> Daniel's like, get back, get back. <laughs> Alice has got her boobs out. Alice, looking good, looking good, sister. <laughs> I'm here with Mr. Berardi before his show this morning. It's really early, but it's not six o'clock. It's just seven o'clock. Hateful. Anyway, Mr. Antonio Berardi, I'm going to ask you some questions. Who or what are you terrified of? Okay, um, spiders. Um, so, but I don't want anyone sending them in the post. I'll be um, sending you a few. Um, and I'm terrified of bad things happening to people I love. What would you say are the essentials to become respected in your profession? So, I would say um, command of a needle. Um, pair of shears um, and a tight fit. Nice. Have you ever pursued anyone? Has anyone ever pursued you? Have I ever pursued? I once apparently pursued the Osmonds. Oh. Um, <laughs> Not the basic two rollers? No, the Osmonds. I was with my sister Lena and uh, she said I run after the tour bus. I don't remember. What's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for you? The nicest thing anyone's ever done for me is buy me a uh, Globe de Marie which is the most beautiful thing um, I have in my life right now. Oh, I'm not going to ask you who that was, actually. No, it's on your business. No, I know, I agree. How much control do you have to be in? How much control do you have to be in? You always have to be in control. Do you have a reputation? Does it precede you? Do I have a reputation? I probably have a reputation for wanting things tighter uh, during fittings. That's absolutely true. Is there a lot of bitchiness in fashion? I wouldn't know. Oh, eh? What's, what do you find most objectable in general? Um, like, I'd say cruelty. Yeah, that's a um, good one. Yeah, cruelty. What's, what's the first thing you do when you get up in the morning? Make coffee. And have a? Cigarette. Yeah. yeah. Who's the most outrageous person you know? The most outrageous person I know. Probably Sophia Neofiti. Possibly. <laughs> I'm not outrageous, I'm, I'm very balanced and normal. Is there anything you couldn't do without? Well, Freddie, my family, and Bruno, and my friends, and Sophia coming to stay with me in the lab. Do, you, do your wishes come true? Um, what are your wishes? I'd never wish for myself, but I wish for other people and they do. Any unmitigating disasters? What are they? Details, please. Now that could be about a show. I can think of one. Go on then. Well, when Hillary sat next to Prince. Prince and said, Hi Michael. How's the baby? How's the baby? And Prince and rapidly just... leaped up from his seat and left no, the building. He, he, he stood the at the back. But that was pretty like a bad one. Is there anything else you can think of? I can think of. Oh, the latex boots backstage at. Yeah, the latex boots. Latex heelless boots where the zips broke and people's fingers were bleeding trying to do the zips up and we had to use gaffer tape. No one noticed. <laughs> oh, that's the end of the interview. Thank you very much. It's your birthday!